When we think of governance, we often only think in terms of government, international collaboration, but we have to go and move beyond that. We have to think of the whole scope and breadth of non-state actors. So you have not only governments, but also regional governments, local governments, uh, and uh, private sector, and, um, and all kind of organizations that are trying to drive forward action for climate change adaptation. So there, the challenge would be how to coordinate all that and make sure that there's a leverage factor that enables for more ambition on the ground and action for climate change adaptation. When it comes to the globalized aspect, and uh, yes, it is true that there is definitely a trend for more globalization, but that trend recently may have been put more in jeopardy because of some recent geopolitical contexts and constraints. Um, globalization should not mean one-size-fits-all approaches. And adaptation in particular is a very good example of the importance of having context-specific approaches. So there should be knowledge sharing, there should be regional approaches when the uh, climate context lends itself to this type of knowledge sharing. And knowledge sharing is not only about what works, it's also about what doesn't work. So you do have more and more initiatives that are looking at the continental approaches. I'm taking, for example, in the African context, Adaptation for Africa, Adaptation in Africa initiative, or the AAA initiative that we launched. There's all kind of context-specific regional um, initiatives that try to move forward and push more this idea of geographic uh, interlinkages and not simply border uh, focused uh, concerns.